and uh, we'll uh, okay. Then and then the final module we can discuss is uh, extremely exciting. Something that oh, it's amazing. We we talk about new construction, single family home new construction. Again, this module, by the way, my name is Si Wen Yi from the Yi Real Estate Network, and our partner here is Marine McCann, uh, chief of everything. <laughs> One star, I mean, yes, master of everything. And anyway, you're great. You're, you're a great brand for your company. Uh, you guys are doing very well. So you are coming up with new constructions is a, such a value add to buy new construction, single family home, cash flow properties in one of the fastest growing market in your region. So tell me what's going on with the uh, upcoming new construction inventories and challenges you have to go through. We are been hearing about the, you know, the, you know, the supply chain disruption, uh, the delays, you know, and, and all the uh, skyrocketing uh, number of costs, uh, skyrocketing lack of, uh, you know, appliances, refrigerators, windows, and everything else. The, the building industry is falling so far behind and come up with some inventory, uh, record low inventory, uh, inventory nationwide, the highest ever right now in history, and the demand is, is through the roof. So with that in mind, Take it away, Marie. Okay. So well, we love new construction, right? Who doesn't love something that's new? And honestly, we we started our uh, construction company. It's called Corinth um, in anticipation of the housing shortage that we saw looming. We started buying raw land, uh, I'm going to say at least a couple years ago, uh, maybe even a little bit more. But um, the whole intent was to... Uh, buy this raw land and then start building um, single family homes on these on this land. So um, we love new construction. Um, we have had some of the challenges like many other home builders have had, and that is related to just the supplies that we need to get to build the home. So um, lumber costs have definitely soared. I do. I know a lot of home builders, they um, even bought the land, but are, are delaying the construction or the beginning of the construction. Um, we chose not to do that. We chose to forge ahead uh, and continue to build uh, instead of building the call it 1600 to 1800 square foot home. We just decided that we were going to shrink it a little bit and still be able to uh, do the new construction, you know, 13, let's call it 1300 to 1600 square feet. So we just, we just shortened it a few hundred square feet so that we can continue to build new construction. We have a, there's a very strong appetite for new builds. They just don't have many repair issues, right? Uh, up front and for the first several years, maybe decade. Um, there's always ticky tacky stuff, but you're not gonna have any you know, big surprises, especially with a new build, as long as it's well constructed. And so, um, you know, we forged ahead. Now, have we had some challenges? Yes, lumber costs. Now we've got, uh, you know, barrel is our barrel of oil is over hundred dollars a barrel uh, right now. So that it, cargo ships need oil to propel themselves from anywhere across the world and bring those goods and service or bring those goods to um, our country. So if we have delays in, you know, if there's labor shortages, which there are, yeah, if there's a high cost of, uh, you know, fuel to get those goods to us. Um, I can tell you it took us three, four months to get windows <laughs> for houses, cabinets we couldn't get uh, for, for months. And so we've actually gotten smart and we have for the new builds that we were for the new builds that we will be constructing in Q3, Q4 this year, we've already ordered the supplies. We've got a warehouse and as those supplies come in, we're just, you know, stocking those, those supplies there so that when we're ready to build, um, we've got everything there and we can get it. Because uh, our turn time right now for built new construction is 8.7 months. It really should be below five, right, for a new, a new build. But a lot of that, you know, that three-month gap there is really due to just more supply chain issues versus the lack of our ability to get the house built. But we believe in new construction. Um, we are doing new construction in several markets. So in Alabama, um, Tuscaloosa is a big, we're doing a community there. Uh, we're building, um, we've got 72 lots, and so we're building out those lots. Now, not all 72 go to investors, because that wouldn't be fair, right, to the community, 
but we do have about 65, 70% are going to primary homeowners, 20% will go to investors, and then 10% will either build out or sell to another developer, you know, just you guys want to see how it goes. Um, then we have infill lots through a lot of parts of uh, established areas that we've already done business in. So infill lots are just maybe there's a vacant lot or there's a house that we just scrapped and we built a new property on that. So we are doing really well with those and commanding higher rent. So um, most of these new construction properties, they are anywhere between, and I know you guys are going to laugh because it's not San Jose pricing, it's Alabama pricing, but between 225 and 250, you can get a brand new three bedroom, two bath, one car attached garage, granite countertops, all solid surfaces throughout. I mean, it's, they're just gorgeous. And um, I'll make sure Seawing has some, some samples to, to show you guys. Um, there's probably even some on our website. Uh, but those are, and, and we're, we're getting rents between 1650 and 1700 um, on those properties, which in Alabama, it's, that's high, you know, yep. Yep. that is high. <laughs> um, yep. We're also doing new construction in um, up and near Huntsville, really hard to get land in Huntsville, just FYI. So just on the outskirts of Huntsville, um, there are several areas, one's called Athens, then there's Decatur and Hartzell. So we have bought 15 lots in Athens. We are uh, starting construction on those properties. Athens is about 20 minutes outside of downtown, downtown Huntsville. Very, very close. Um, and then, um, you know, we will be building new in Chattanooga. Probably, I'm going to say probably in 2023 is when we'll start that. Um, we have currently, I had to write this down so I remembered, we currently have 15 new builds under construction um, and we've got 12 more permitted. So what is that? 27, just 27 houses um, that, will, that will be coming, let's say, they, they will be released within, I would say by Q3, between now and Q3. So let, let me ask you this, uh, um, different builder uh, do it differently, but uh, are you gonna, you're not going to open up for reservation until the, the houses are almost done. I think there's a better way, yeah, right? Yes, because the what we found is that the 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 customer experience is really important to us. And if you know we go, hey, these are you know, these are lots, and we are going to build a house on this, and you can you know put a deposit down on there now. Well, what if it takes a lot longer than the eight months, the eight point seven months that it's taking us now? What if it takes a year more than that? It, it really kind of hinders the, it dampens the investor's experience. So we really want to make sure that when you're excited, you sign the contract, you know, it's not a year from now that you're closing. Um, we usually uh, list the properties, uh, the new builds, when they're about four to five weeks to completion. And so once we release them, then we've got four to five weeks to finish and then we go through the closing process. So that's a lot, that's a lot better experience than Putting, putting money on a dirt lot and then waiting for us for a year or two to build. Maureen, therein lies the challenge. The challenge is when, when you release those new bills of inventory, you know when you promote them in Shopify. Did I say it right? Shopify, you got it, yep. <laughs> you, know, you know the frenzy gonna gonna going to be instantaneous. So how you're going to prioritize, I mean, if you have 15, 30, New construction, you could you could release them, you know, a month away, whatever. You know, those investors, my data, not only my database, your affiliate database, they're gonna be, they're gonna blow up your your. <laughs> you before they're coming. When I know they're coming, I'll ping you and let you know. I mean, because a lot of times they won't. I mean, I I'm always. It's funny, even though I'm a one of the co-founders of the company. Um, there are other sales people, so it would be unfair for me to have the advantage of knowing, you know, what is coming, but usually the director of sales opt because I'm, I'm chomping in his ear all the time. I'm like, when are they coming? I, I mean, I, you should ask him if he was on this call, he'd be like, God, she bugs me every week. <laughs> mm -hmm. right? Because I do know that the demand is there. And what I, what I can do when I, when I have the opportunity, if he says, yeah, we're listing. And I, I kind of, when he says, Hey, we're three, three more are coming tomorrow. We're going to list them tomorrow on the Shopify site. 
And I'd probe them, I'm like, are you absolutely sure? Because you told me this before and then something happens and they don't show up. And then I tell everybody and they get mad at me. <laughs> so, um, but when I do know, when I have a hundred, when I'm a hundred percent sure that they are going to be listed on that Shopify site, um, you know, I will ping you C wing so that you can uh, alert your investors because I want you got, I want, I want my clients, my affiliates, I want them to get first dibs. I want to beat up my competition. <laughs> so I just, this image just come, came up to me. <laughs> when you're about to tell me about this new bills, the inventory going to come up, you know, I'm, I'm, my image is like that. I'm going to tell my investors in advance, go ahead and watch one of the Clint Eastwood movie. One of those sp spaghetti Western movie. Dress up like a clean if it was cowboy, one of those uh, spaghetti westerns, right? I mean, uh -huh. like, uh, <laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly. Wait, and that's know, right. Yeah, and, it's and, like and put on your belt, put on your gun, put on your cowboy hat. Come on out. Hold the trigger. You gotta, it... you gotta be fast. <laughs> like I want, I want investors to act fastly. One because I, there's two other salespeople in in the company, and I just I'm very competitive, and I want to beat them. I, I want to want my clients to get their better product. So if I can get any insight, give you any intel, ping you guys, and let you know that they're coming, then I'm going to give you guys the advantage. Um, then then you know Amanda or Danny. So um, yeah, so I I am I am the guns a blazing girl. I'll come cocked and loaded. I'm ready to go. Let you know when they're there. And I'm constantly bugging um, Pete to let me know what's in the pipeline, what's what's going to be available. And then I absolutely, with 100% certainty, you know, make sure he promises me they are coming on that day. That's when I ping. That's when I'll ping you. Very good. Yes, sir. In recap, uh, to recap with the new builds, uh, most of them, uh, third quarter, approximately this year, it'll, in the sub it'll come up in the suburbs of Huntsville, uh, and few other uh, locations in Alabama for the new builds. And, uh, and then next year will be, the new builds will be in Chattanooga. And the, um, the, the, the price range is, in, in a, it's amazing, the price range is in the mid 200s, the low 200s. You're not gonna find any new construction, single family home new build anywhere in the country for this price, for this square footage in, in, in a growing market like this. And the rent is like 1650, 1750. In my mind, I could I could easily do my calculation at 20% down payment and even a 4.5% interest rate, 1725 gross rent. And then with your low property tax rate and low insurance base, the cash flow analysis, the cash flow, uh, you know, the performer would be off the chart. I mean, a good return. I mean, they, it's just amazing. Definitely over three hundred. Yeah, they're definitely these are. It's I haven't. It's been hard. It's been hard for us to find properties that cash flow over three hundred. But our new builds, they definitely because the rents have escalated. Um, yeah, we see it. We're seeing it. Okay, as we conclude this presentation, wow, great information. And um, any final words uh, before I let you go? And uh, <laughs> because you, you said more than enough. It's, it's such an amazingly exciting times working with your company. So uh, what's your party words? <laughs> it's very, it's very much an exciting time. I'm always grateful to spend some time with you. I always appreciate the relationship that we've developed over the, the time and the trust that you have to give me this time with your investors. And I would say um, kind of to quote what C Wing said earlier is that the early bird gets the worm. And I do hope at some point in the future, it's not as competitive as it is right now but grease up your elbows, get your pre-qual letter, um, get on that site, right? Get on the Shopify site regularly. I'll send him messages when I knew, no, I think there's three new properties that are coming out tomorrow, not brand new construction, but new properties um, mm -hmm. that will be um, coming out tomorrow. So I've been told. So it's one of those things where until we switch to Salesforce, where we'll actually have the ability to notify everybody that we're uploading new properties. In the meantime, you just have to they keep checking the site. So be competitive. Be fierce, take action. You can always move it to another, you can always go to another property, but get while the getting is good right now. Sounds great. With that in mind, thank you so much uh, for sharing great information. Looking forward to help everybody achieve their financial freedom goals. And thank you so much, Maureen McCann from Spartan Invest. My name is Si Win Yi from the Yield Listen Network. Thank you for listening. Have a blessed day. And I will see you on the other side. Thank you.